Say hello to Tobot, Captain Police, or Sergeant Justice. Those are his names. Very goofy names, but still, what this is at the end of the day is a giant, chunky, clicky robot. And or in other words, a kind of Transformer toy that I grew up with. Because let me tell you, when I was a kid, Transformers Cybertron was my Transformers line. And those figures are infamous in a good way, so I should say famous, for being very bulky, very chunky, and very clicky. And spoiler alert, this guy, very, very chunky, very bulky, and very clicky. Uh, or in other words, very nice quality. Uh, this is Tobot from Young Toys. What is Tobot? Well, basically, it is a Japanese... Well, not Japanese. It's actually Korean. I'm just so used to saying Japanese robot. Because <laughs> basically half of my room is just Japanese robots. But it's a Korean robot uh, toy line. Um, uh, that's uh, actually more recently been imported to the U.S. Uh, through means like Amazon. I was actually surprised because I've been looking at this for ages. This figures have been out for years. And I was always like, oh, yeah, it's cool looking, but also, you know, it's like 70, 80 bucks to import it from Korea. Not really interested in spending that kind of money on it. But I got to say, I saw it on Amazon for only like 55. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. I got a bonus at work. I think I'm going to do it. And I did it. Do I have any regrets? I don't. I'm showing this box because it reminds me so much of Transformers Cybertron. It's such a nice box. I love the the art and the stylings. I love the big window. It's a huge box. And if you don't understand how big this figure is, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big figure. So here's the figure. <laughs> it's it's huge. Let me grab a, a three and three quarter inch figure for a comparison. I always compare with Boss because he's like so easily reachable. Yeah, there it is with a three and a quarter inch Star Wars. But if you're a Transformers guy, you may be like, oh, has it scale with a, I don't know, a deluxe Transformer. Here it is with Pterosaur. So you can see he's like old leader class size. I'm talking like Revenge of the Fallen animated leader class days. Uh, so yeah, when it comes to the size and the heft, you get like leader class price. So for 50 bucks, I, I think you get your money's worth then and there. It is just such a nice, big, chunky figure. It's so good. So, uh, what what does he come with? He comes with a shotgun, which is super cool. Uh, he can even like fold it down if you want it to look like he's he's reloading it. You know, you can have it look like he's putting some shells in his shotgun. You know, he's just kind of loading it. It's not like a super poseable action figure. It's not going to be like, you know, hyper pose below. Oh, it can do a karate kicks and all that. At the end of the day, this is, in my opinion, a callback to figures like Transformer Cybertron, where it's just it's the crispest paint, the, the highest quality. It is just so, so good. Another thing he comes with is this guy here. It's the little wolf. It's called a Toki, for whatever reason. I'll take it off later, but it's basically like a little wolf companion that's also on his chest. It's pretty cool. I dig it. Uh, it kind of reminds me like the whole mini con thing too. Even looking at that head sculpt, that just screams like big chunky transforming robot, and like the themed, like the theme of being a police officer. It just ah oh, man, <laughs> it just it really gives me Transformers Cybertron vibes. I love this thing so much. I love the uh, emergency lights on his shoulders, the big old shoulders. I love the brake lights on his shoulders too. This gives him this big old imposing look. The big old wheels that are very nicely pinned, by the way. They, like, if you get them spinning, they will seriously spin for, like, a solid, like, 30 seconds uninterrupted if you get a good spin. That is one of the nicest pin wheels I've ever seen. Overall, dude, like, look at the paint on the shins. So crisp. Look at all this gold and this dark blue. He does have a bit of a backpack. And I really love this big old gray armature. He just, the engineering even reminds me of Cybertron so much. It's just so goofy to me, but it's still really nice. I really dig it. I don't really know if the weapon has any storage. I would assume it might possibly, because you, you fold this up. 
And I kind of wonder, like, can you plug the gun onto his back? That'd be kind of cool. Because, you know, it has, like, a little peg there. It doesn't even fit. I've always been curious. Like, it almost looks like it should fit, but I don't know if it does. It's kind of like colliding with stuff. Wouldn't want to fit that way. Yeah, I don't really think it'll fit right there. That'd be nice if it did, though. You know, just on that armature. That's obviously like a screw hole right there. But, like, what's that hole for, you know? What's that one for, man? What are we doing? Oh, it does. Kind of, oh, it does. There we go. Yeah. yeah. You can have that on his... On it. Yeah. Does it, like, go up? It'd look a lot better if it would, like, store upward. But I don't know if it will. Oh, it, it does. But it's, like, disconnected now. It disconnected the backpack. I don't know if we can get that reconnected because it's a very nice stable fit for the backpack. But, I mean, yeah, it will actually store on his back. That's really nice. Overall, dude, this is just really good. <laughs> for uh, articulation, you get a swivel at the head, and yes, that is a spring. He does have an actual, like, head reveal. His shoulders hinge outward, I'd say about that far. Um, they, oh, hear that? So clicky. So nice and clicky. Yeah, you do have a decent hinge outward. You can also like shift it up if you want. But that's more so for transformation. I love how his biceps work because they're like on these pulley. It's like on a pulley with how it transforms. It's like on a spring. So you like rotate it and you can see it kind of like goes up and then clicks in, up and clicks in. He's got elbows. He's got wrists to move up and down. Man, this is just the quality. Is just, it's there, dude. He's got little uh, hip guards. Legs move out. They move forward. Decent knee bend. Not the greatest, but pretty decent. Nothing for like a thigh rotation, unfortunately. But the feet, you can also hinge those up and down. So that's nice. And you do have a heel, which also helps with poses. So yeah, I mean, the plastic quality is just top notch. I, I really can say they don't make Transformers like this anymore. That's not a bad thing, because how they make Transformers nowadays is still really cool. But they don't make them like this anymore. This big, this bulky, this clicky, this chunky, this high quality. I would say this thing at least weighs a pound or two. It is. It has a lot going on. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any lights or sounds. That would have been cool, but you know, it's not the end of the world. So let's transform him. Let's do it. So I put his gun back in his hand just to take it out again. Now let's take his Toki out so we can see. Uh, it is a little animal friend, but I do have to show the reverse transformation. So when you're going back into robot mode, you plug the Toki in. And the head springs up. And you heard that it echoes. It's such a powerful spring to get that head jut, uh, jutting up. There we go. That's English. <laughs> but this little Toki guy, he just like open up the jaw of the wolf. And the jaw becomes the legs of a smaller wolf. Dude, that is just so cool. That is that is so giant robot. I love it so much. That is just perfect to me. That's so cute. It doesn't stand too well, unfortunately. It just kind of, you know, kind of wibbles. It just, you can already see it. It just doesn't stand too well. It doesn't have a lot of good balance. But still, cute little guy. Doesn't really interact with the vehicle mode much, unfortunately. Speaking of that vehicle mode, let's get there. The transformation, as you can see, is very simple, but very, very satisfying. One of my favorite parts is this. It's a slider. Push in the button and just slide that leg up. Oh, and it just like clicks into place. Flip those hands in. Probably should have slid those up after I put it in the arms. So let's actually slide those down. Because you just kind of hinge the shoulders up. And then slide those into place. And you're almost done, actually. You pretty much just have to worry about the backpack after that. So get that folded. Get this folded. The front tabbed in. Get the feet up. And there we go. There's the car mode. Uh, one word. Slick. It is so slick. It's also so huge. It is such a huge car. Um, I don't really... I do have a car I can compare it to, I think. Yeah, here it is with a uh, Deluxe... Why is her name escaping me? Shatter. <laughs> here it is with Deluxe Shatter. So you can see, uh, it's it's pretty big, man. This is a pretty big car. It's really impressive. And you do get more lights exposed here. Uh, you get to see a lot more of like the engine 
see the engine poking out, you get like these cool wings. Aw, oh, man, it's so nice. It is such a nice vehicle. And it rolls like a dream. It's just, ah, oh, man. You can hear it. You can just hear the quality of the wheels. It's making that little, like, noise that, like, really nice cars make. You can see the front wheels, they, they spin decently, uh, but the back ones, that pin, look at that. That pin is really good. Aw, oh, man. You do have storage for the, the shotgun. It just goes in there. I'm not going to worry about it. But unfortunately, the Toki doesn't have anywhere to go. It just kind of, you know, stands off to the side. So, yeah. Come on, Toki. There we go. So, yeah, there we go. There is Tobot Captain Police. So, Captain Police is his Korean name. Sergeant Justice is his uh, American name. The Korean version of the toy actually says Captain Police on it, so I think that's pretty funny. I'm happy they took that off of the American one, because I was at first I was thinking, eh, that's kind of goofy. It just says its name right there. All right, so do I recommend Tobot, especially given the price? So, yeah, it is expensive, but when it comes to, like, comparable Transformers, it is well worth it. This feels like a leader-class chunk. This is a very chunky, very hefty, clicky boy. The paint application is crisp. The plastic quality is sublime. I love this. Am I going to get more Tobots? Probably not. I'm really happy I was just able to experience one because I've been looking at Tobot for years because they I've known the quality for years. I've known that these are great feeling and they're huge and they're clicky. I've wanted one, but you know, the price importing from Korea definitely put me off. But, you know, go on Amazon, Tobot's on Amazon. There's also a Tobot show on YouTube. Uh, it's dubbed over from the original Korean animation. And uh, I watched an episode, just because why not? It's a, it's a fun kids cartoon about giant transforming robots. You know, it's, it's, you know, not really anything bad. It's a decent show. I'm sure kids like it. I even went on Amazon and, like, read some of the reviews. Like, you know, kids are asking for Tobot. Or they watch it on YouTube, and they're like, oh, yeah, give me Tobot. Will it ever trump Transformers? Never. <laughs> it's, it'll never trump the giant behemoth of a franchise that is Transformers. But I'm really happy that there's other, like, giant transforming robot franchises out there that are successful, that make good products, because a lot of them make crap. Uh, and like I was, I had a little slip up with saying Japanese robot, uh, cause there's so many different kinds of Japanese robots, but it's really cool to see that there's this Korean toy line that's really awesome. And this really emphasizes the whole spirit of big, chunky, giant transforming robot toy. And honestly, if you just love giant transforming robot toys, I cannot recommend this enough. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Thank you so much for my, for my review. <laughs> I was about to say, thank you so much for my review. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.